the San Joaquin Valley is um, a very uh, important agricultural area in the United States and to some extent it's a very important part of the agricultural um, output of the, of the world. And part of the reason for that is that it's got um, good soils, it's got a very um, uh, amenable climate relative to production of a number of different agricultural commodities. So there's a wide range of crops that are produced within the, uh, within the valley and within the animal sector, um, bovines, particularly dairy cattle, are probably the most important within that, uh, within that group. Uh, California dairy industry really is a, a modern marvel of, uh, of how an industry has grown and prospered and uh, become uh, an extremely important uh, part of the California economy. And now California produces almost 25% of the milk that's produced in the United States. Um, so clearly there's an awful lot of milk that's produced in California that goes for processing to other parts of the United States. It also is processed here in California and is exported as processed products such as, as cheese. One of the things that's happened as the California dairy industry has grown as an industry over the last 25 years is that the size of the individual operations has increased. Cloverdale South uh, milks about 4,500 lactating dairy cows under one, one operation. And so that would be very large compared to the sizes of dairies that were very common in California. Um, in about 1960, the average number of lactating cows on a California dairy was about 100. Today in the San Joaquin Valley, that average has increased to about 1,400 lactating dairy cows. And certainly when we look at the new build operations within the state, most of those new build operations would be in that much uh, larger range. Uh, at this location, we milk 4,500 cows, and we milk three times a day. This is part of a group of five different dairies, and in total, we milk close to 17,000 milk cows. The production level on a dairy such as this is relatively high. For example, the uh, cows that are in the higher production groups, uh, on average, would produce Oh, something in the range of 100 to 105 pounds of milk per day, which is a very substantial increase over what we would have seen even 10 years ago on equivalent dairies. The performance of lactating dairy cows is very much driven by the feed that they consume, not only its nutritive profile, but also how it's, it's mixed and delivered. So to be successful, you need to have a, a mix of, of ingredients that will create the ration that has the nutrient profile that would allow the cows to express a high level of milk production. 50 to 60 percent of our costs on the dairy come from the feed and therefore I try to put a lot of focus on my day-to-day -day routines by again making sure that the ration that the nutritionist formulates truly makes it uh, in front of the cow. Being in California we have the advantage of having a lot of different byproducts here from the citrus industry, pomegranates, carrots, uh, you name it, it, it's grown here. We have an opportunity to put a lot of those into these rations and the cows do really well. Uh, the, it always comes down to a issue of consistency of the product that we're feeding and what, what the price is relative to other ingredients. Canola was uh, developed in the mid-1970s in Canada by plant breeders who took rapeseed, which has been grown for thousands of years, and, and made some key improvements on the oil and the meal to improve its nutritional value and, and, and safety, for that matter. And so uh, when they, they came up with the name canola, which is Canadian oil, as this new improved rapeseed, uh, that's when the industry started to take off. Canola meal has uh, found a place in, in California dairy rations because it has a relatively uh, beneficial, the, the types of protein are beneficial relative to the fermentation in the rumen that is a very important part of the way that the cows operate from a digestive perspective. Those proteins don't degrade too quickly in the rumen and they don't degrade too slowly. So there's a number of different protein sources that are available to dairy producers in the San Joaquin Valley and canola meal is, is part of that package. They'll certainly use the canola meal if it's cost effective but beyond that, they will use it because it is considered to be one of the higher quality proteins that they would have available to them. What we found from canola is that the 
The cows do like it, very palatable, and it does promote milk production. I would choose canola in our ration. I think it's a, a good protein source. Ultimately, at the end of the day, it always comes down to economics. Another thing I do like about the canola is that it is a pellet, which the benefit of that in our rations is it reduces the amount of fine particles and can be a real benefit uh, so it doesn't settle out of these rations. Consistency on what a cow eats is so important, so having that pellet rather than a fine can be a real big benefit. So the biggest thing we look at in, in feeding canola is what is the cost per unit of protein versus the alternative sources, whether it be soybean meal or cottonseed meal or others. On an equal uh, cost per unit of protein basis, I feel like the cows do perform better with the canola versus a soybean meal or a cottonseed meal. The California dairy industry is, is very important for the Canadian canola industry. Uh, in the last few years, we've sold approximately 800,000 tons per year of canola meal to California. That's about a third of our total Canadian canola meal production. So by far and away, the California dairy industry is our most important market for, for canola meal. And it's a market that's expanded very nicely. Uh, it's six or seven years ago, our sales to California were approximately three to 400,000 tons. So it's, it's doubled in the last six or seven years. Now that's happened at the same time as the California dairy industry has expanded. And that's been one of the impressive stories about California, how many new operations, how many more cows they're, um, they're feeding now. The milk production out of California is, is very important for supplying uh, milk to the nation. And um, we're quite happy that uh, canola meal has been able to be a part of that growth.